Hey everyone, welcome back to Stebro. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix lag in Roblox and how you can boost FPS and make Roblox run much faster. I'll be sharing seven effective solutions that you need to apply, and after that, I'm very positive that you will find a great change. And if this works for you guys, please do not forget to like and please consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free. So we will start with the first method that will be deleting the texture of the game. So from your keyboard, you have to press the Windows and R key. The run box will be coming up at the left hand corner. Here you have to type percent local app data percent again, and then hit enter. The local folder will be up here. You have to look for the Roblox folder. Once you get it, you have to double click on it. Then look for the versions, double click on it. Then you will find two sub version folder. You have to look for the one with the latest date. Find the second one. So I will double click on it. Then go to platform content and then on PC. Double click on it. And here you will find the texture folder. So double click on it again to open it. And now here you have to delete all the folder and file from here. Except the two that is at the very bottom by the name starts and wang index. So select all the other file. And delete it and make sure that these two files are not being deleted. Once done, you have to close it. Next, you have to click on the search box of your Windows 10 or 11. Type here graphic. From the suggestion, choose graphic settings. The graphic setting option will be up. So here you have to add the Roblox game so that it can get the higher graphic preferences. So what you have to do, you have to click on browse. And then you need to locate to the location of Roblox game. So how you will find the Roblox game location. So you have to click on cancel. Now look for your Roblox game icon. Right click on it and choose open file location. This will bring up the Roblox game launcher path. So you have to copy the path from the top address box. So click on it, highlight everything, right click on it and choose copy. Now you can close it and then come back to graphic setting. Click on browse and paste the path on the top that you just copied and hit enter. Now you'll be getting Roblox player launcher here. Click on it and then click on add. Roblox game is now added here. Then you have to click on options and choose this to high performance. Then click on save. Once done, you have to close it. Next, you also need to add the Roblox game to the high priority. So on your Windows 10 or 11, right click on the Windows icon and then choose Task Manager. Once the Task Manager comes up, from the top menu option, you have to click on the Details tab. And here you have to look for the Roblox. Keep scrolling down until you'll find Roblox Player. Just right click on it, hold up to Set Priority and choose this to High. Then click Change Priority. So make sure that your Roblox game is open and every time you open the game, you can check this option. All right, once done, close it. Again, right click on the Windows icon, then click on Task Manager. Now here in the process section, you have to find out the application that you are not currently using. All right, so make sure the application like Google Chrome, Steam, Discord, whichever you're not using right now, you must close it because these applications occupy a lot of memory and the disk usage and that basically lag your game performance. Now you can see my Google Chrome is open and it's occupying a lot of memory usage and even the disk and the GPU usage. So what I can do, I can close it while playing the Roblox game. Similarly, you have to look for the other application that currently you are not using. So make sure every time you play Roblox, close all unwanted application. Once done, close it. Again, you have to click on the search box and type here sys sys dm dot cpl then you will be getting sysdm dot cpl control panel item you have to click on it the system properties will be up here from the top menu option click on advanced Under performance you have to click on settings this will be set to adjust for best performance or let windows choose what best for my computer you have to go here with the third option that is adjust for best performance Check this option. Then you have to check the option of show thumbnail instead of icon. Then smooth edges of screen font. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Now click OK again. Again, right click on your Windows icon. Then click on settings. 
on your windows 10 or 11 you have to look for system then from the left hand menu option you have to look for the storage now here at the top you will find the storage sense option so make sure this option has been enabled because this option keeps freeing up the space that is not required on your pc and laptop then come down and you will be getting an option of temporary file so you can see here that around 111 gigabyte of space has been occupied by the temporary file so that is not required for me that is not important and that should be deleted so you have to click on the temporary file and this will now show you that what kind of temporary file are occupying the space so you can see in my case it's download that is occupying around 96 gigabyte of space so if i don't need the download i will check this option then we have recycle bin if you do not need the deleted item that has been restored to recycle bin then you can check this option as well and then you can check all the other option here and then you have to click on remove file so this will be allocating you around 111 gigabyte of space so surely you will be getting enough storage and even get rid of the roblox lag issues once done finally we have to make some changes with the roblox game setting so open the roblox player then open the game that you are playing so let's say i'm going with please donate game so i will open it once the game is up you have to click on the roblox icon at the left and top then click on the setting icon here in the graphic mode you have to select this to manual it will be set to automatic you have to choose to manual and in the graphic quality make sure that this is maximum set to three two or three either you can go with two or three not more than that all right after that you have to click on resume and now you can just restart your pc and check back i'm very positive that you will find a great change so that's all guys for today's video hopefully this will work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any doubt let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye